Don't uh, talk about your picks. Don't talk about the men. We're talking about one of our favorite women in particular. Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. Yo, two things here. Thing number one is I put up a video the other day of Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. Doing wall balls. It was on my Instagram. It was with the Matrix thing where he's like, no, no, no. It's 30 reps. No. No. Mallory's in first. Alex. No. Ben is in second. No. And that was from the camera, kind of the top down looking at it. And from that angle, you kind of always maybe have to refer to what the judge is saying. It did appear as if she was not squatting below depth, but we're not standing right there. We can't tell. I had a couple of pictures sent to me. It's like, hey, is this squat below parallel? And I don't think so. If you look at the crease of the hip with the top of the knee, it did not appear as if those squats were below parallel either. It appears as if there are a lot of athletes who get away with worse or about the same as that. That doesn't mean that they're good squats. Below Below parallel is what we're looking for. Hip crease passes below the knee. Everyone should be held to that standard, right? So what I'm getting at here is we had the view of her from top down looking and we can't really tell. And then we have the view from the photographer and that angle still doesn't look good, but it doesn't look as bad as it did from the top down. And now I have a video from somebody called flashlight.fitness. Put up a video 48 minutes ago as I'm making this video of Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. And you know what? Why wouldn't you want to use Danny Spiegel? Danny Spiegel. Everyone loves Danny Spiegel. Almost a million followers on the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the video. I'm just going to let it roll. And then we're going to talk about that video a little bit. Maybe talk over a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So first thing I do is shut off the song. Second thing is just, we're going to watch her do this endure the sled workout. She gets into the sled. No problem. I'm like, why did somebody send me this? It's like, okay, do they want to show that? No, I don't really care to see that. I don't know why they would send me that, but then we get here and it doesn't look like she touches her chest to the ground. She doesn't touch her chest to the ground, but wait a minute. How does she look when she gets over the line? Yeah, that was weird. That was a granite game standard. Everyone's burpees look like that. And then we have this other, it's out there. She does not touch her chest on either one of the burpees featured in this video. And I don't know what's going on right here. I clear as day see it. It's not the owl's eye view. It isn't just like, oh, this could be going one way or the other way. Like that squat that I showed you, it's up to the judge. It's clear as day that this is not touching the ground. This is because the photographer decided to use this footage. I know the photographers go out there and they've got like gigabytes of data sitting on their phone. So I don't know this guy, Flash.Fitness. I do know that it isn't in his best interest to be using the type of footage like this for their athletes. This doesn't mean go ahead and crash the athlete or, or this doesn't mean go yell at the photographer for it, but this is a learning experience for the photographer, just like it's a learning experience for the athletes. Now, it's an interesting thing to talk about the learning experience for the athletes because I remember on Instagram, somewhere after the open, before the quarterfinals, there was a video of Danny Spiegel, Danny Spiegel. doing burpees. And I took the thing and I put it on my story. It's one of the first big stories that I ever had. It had a bunch of shares, like a hundred shares or something like that. And I remember it was one of those, what you see versus what I see sort of deals. Those are my favorite. What you see versus what I see. It's like, is the earth round or is it flat? I don't know. Clearly it's round, but you know, it's funny to talk about it. And I remember Danny Spiegel, Danny Spiegel. was doing some burpees. And everyone was talking about, oh, she's touching the bar with one hand. It's like, well, you don't know the intent of the workout. Maybe she was just doing one hand. Maybe she was alternating hands. The thing you don't want to look at is the touching of the hand. What you want to look at is that when you slow down the burpees, she does the burpee in training the exact same way that she's doing the burpee at the Granite Games right here. So this is the big thing that I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is how you practice is how you play. I've said this numerous times in other videos. I haven't said it about Danny Spiegel, Danny Spiegel. but this is just the perfect full circle of things. I've 
put up a video giving her the choice, the option to get better. Say, hey, stop doing your burpees like this, or sometime it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. And here is the video of Danny Spiegel getting bit in the butt for not doing burpees the right way. She didn't get bit in the butt because she wasn't issued a no rep by the judge. Why wasn't the judge issuing no reps? Well, because the judge wasn't down there watching the chest. That's probably where they should have been. Those were quick burpees, the burpee over the line. That's a weird thing. I don't think they should have that at this standard, at this level of competition. But all I can tell you is that she was getting away with it for whatever the fuck reason. Why is she getting away with it? Was everybody getting away with it? I don't know. Why aren't the judges calling these things out? I had a couple of Robins reach out to me and say that the judges at the Granite Games weren't showing up. So who are these judges? Were these the elite judges? There was very good judging at the past couple of weekends. There wasn't the high level of judging I saw at the Syndicate and the MAC at the Granite Games. I saw a lot of iffy stuff at the freaking Granite Games this weekend. I'm not trying to hate on the judges. All I'm doing is I'm using my eyes, looking at the videos, and seeing that things could be better. This is the exact same thing right here. Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. On this Flash.Fitness thing, clearly is not touching her chest. It's something that apparently she has done in her training, and now she is being exposed through this random freaking thing that I was sent on the internet, and now everybody else gets to see it as well. And the big thing about this is, number one, if you are an athlete in your gym and you know that you are going to be competing at this high of a level, it is in your best interest to be doing things the best you can every single day, because otherwise you're going to be doing these weird worm burpees where all you're touching is your belly button to the ground, and then you're going to go to this competition, and you know what you're going to do? What you've been training to do your entire life, which is touch your freaking belly button to the ground. It's the exact same burpee. Here's a burpee that looks like this, and here's a burpee that looks like this. Stop training like this because this is what you're going to fall to. The best training that you're in the heat of battle, you're going to fall to the freaking best type of training that you do or whatever the hell the quote is. I made that video on the Buttery Bros. Buttery Bros exposed and it was in relation to Katrin David's daughter not doing very good looking power snatches. I wouldn't be shocked if this weekend at Strength and Depth, you see Katrin David's daughter doing snatches that look the same way, because apparently that's how she trains. But the issue here is that not only are the athletes training like this and then getting away with it in the competitions, but the photographers don't know right from wrong. They should look at this and say, ooh, I'm going to protect this athlete. I don't want to put this content on the internet, because then Andrew's going to grab this content, and it's going to get, one, me in trouble, and two, the athlete's going to be looked at in a negative light. Why is this a good idea? It's a horrible circle of things. Number one, the athlete should be doing everything right the right way. They are supposed to be the pinnacle, the gods, the best in the sport. Like everybody and their freaking brothers should be looking at these athletes and saying, that's what I want to be when I grow up. I want to do that every single way. They shouldn't look at the athlete and say, oh, they do their burpees half ass all the time. Why would I ever do a burpee the right way? Why would I ever do that, Coach Andrew? I would never do a burpee like that because Danny Spiegel Danny Spiegel doesn't do it that way. Katrin David's daughter doesn't do her snatches the right way. Why would I ever extend on a power snatch? It doesn't make any sense. She doesn't do it. Why would I do it? Do you understand what's going on? going on here it's fucking terrible and then not only that but then it's like oh good job you finished third of the granite games you go go to the games and finish 30th yeah it's like why did you finish 30th of the games because the judging at the games is the pinnacle of judging the best of the best judges go to the games and there's no online qualifiers anymore for you to hide behind and there's no judges that aren't going to see your chest touching the ground on the burpees and the photographers of the games are not going to be able to find the things that are being found at the granite games or it's like oh i can see error not just a little bit but there's a big gap between your chest on the ground. <sighs> okay, so quick wrap up, and I've probably said this in circles a bunch and a bunch. This is Flashlight Fitness, you should be watching this video and you should say, why did I do that? Was I trying to just like put something together really quick? How did you miss this? You ask yourself, how did you miss this? Why did you put this out there? Number two, Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. I've given you the option to get better in your training. You know what you did? You got away with it, the competition. Good for you. You get a round of applause. Good. But you know what? Now you're being brought up here on this YouTube channel again because you got away with something that you shouldn't have been doing in the first place. So, and really I was trying to be funny with that matrix thing that I put together, you know, with the trickle in screen, the green letters, you know, the code screen, it's like billions of Instagram followers. I really hope that that doesn't have anything to do with it. But we listened to the thing that I put together from Kat, the Hungry Dog Podcast. She's part of the Clydesdale crew. And she talked about how there are certain judges who will go there because they want to be close to the athletes. And if you want to be close to the athletes, of course, you're going to have a little bit of uh, bias when you may be judging them. Maybe you don't want to hurt their attempt at maybe getting to the CrossFit Games. I don't know that speculation as well. But A equals B in my mind. You can see this sort of thing. I know they're going quick. And I know that it's hard to be judging these things in the moment. But like I've said over and 
and over again. You see she's done it there. You know that she's likely to be somebody. If you were an industry like the Granite Games, you would want to put your best judge on an individual like Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. Put your just best judge on Danny Spiegel. Danny Spiegel. Because you know that they're most likely, when push comes to shove, to be the ones to make the right call at that time. And then stuff like this doesn't happen. Moral of the story is, be better, be better, be better. That's all. Andrew Hiller out.